Australian government as we head into the worst economic recession in living history. What the nation needs now is leadership, evidence-based policies and bold vision. And fucked if we have those. So instead, we've cooked up something else. That's right. While you've been in lockdown, we too have been busy baking. No, not sourdough. Shit fuckery. The kind your grandkids will still be tasting decades from now. Introducing our disaster economic recovery plan. Derp, 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 derp. derp. Brought to you by the empty ball sack of ideas that is Scott's ministry. Derp will take the money we have for our economic recovery, the one chance we have not to lose a generation to a lifetime of hardship, and throw it in a fucking volcano. Or to put it in lay terms, give it to the gas industry. Gas is what's called a transition fuel. It fuels the transition of dollars from public coffers into the bank accounts of private companies who pay no tax and create shit tons of emissions. Will it create jobs? A volcano would literally employ more people through tourism and provide cheaper heating bills since the volcano can't be exported overseas. Which is exactly what we do with gas and the reason you pay so much for it. Is DERP supported by experts? Yes, the ones we've appointed to our advisory committee, which we've stacked with former gas executives, mining lobbyists and chinless neoliberal spivs. Oh look, there's even a director of a Saudi oil company in there. Cool and normal. Actual experts are saying that instead of DERP, we should invest in renewables since our own science agency shows they're performing better than coal and gas. But Angus said, fuck evidence. Let's invest your money in bullshit solutions like carbon capture, which no credible study says will ever work, but which gives his mates a boner because it lets them keep polluting and making the ching-ching. Fantastic, great move. Well done, Angus. Others are saying we should look to history for answers. Remember that time the US government ended the Great Depression by spending massively on a strong social safety net and employing people to build shit tons of stuff? Bridges, roads, hospitals. If only there were an urgent need today for a similar nation building. My mom always said that you have to eat everything from your plate. You have to eat all the food because there is starvation in Africa. And then I ate uh, every day. And then I grew a bit older and I started to think that, how have I helped <laughs> the situation in, uh, in, in Africa? Uh, I'm now a little bit overweight. I hope they are happy. I, I have done my best. <laughs> eating so much. Oh, if I ever go to Africa and, and they look at my belly, I will say that I did it for you. <laughs> You're right. You want to get people out of jail, you got to be a lawyer. Or at least have taken the bar, not that bar. To be a successful international business, you have to make serious money. To patent Taco Tuesday, you got to at least be Mexican. To have a billion dollar lipstick brand, you should at least be born with lips. To start an alcohol brand, you should at least have some experience making alcohol. To sell out the Staples Center for a boxing match, you should at least be boxers, right? To criticize American politics, society, and culture, you gotta be a citizen or have at least lived here a long time. Bare minimum, you gotta know about the news. To be one of the highest value tech IPOs in history, you should at least own some tech, right? To be a climate change expert, you should at least graduate high school. To have a successful fashion brand, you should at least know fashion. To be a leading voice on black issues, you should at least be black, right? To be the victim of a hate crime, you should at least be the victim of a hate crime. To be an advisor to the president, you should at least have some experience in politics. To be a feminist, an opponent of the patriarchy, you should at least work in an industry that's not entirely fueled by the objectification of women from the fucking patriarchy. And to teach comedy, you should at at least be a comedian. <sighs> now you see, the marketplace is dominated by clicks and shares, and as a result, we don't always get the best person for the job. We just get the person that grabs the most attention, and maybe that's what we deserve. We're a society that demands to be entertained every moment of the day for free. This is what we ask for. When you want a circus, you exalt the clowns. So enjoy the show.